Well, wonderful day. Let's see here. Just make sure you guys can hear me okay. Let's see. So today is some, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun day, okay? I, we're just going to talk about, let's say, title Joy of Making Coffee. So I realized, you know, over the years I've been making a lot of coffee videos. Hold on. Let me fix this. And I realized that, you know what, the coffee should be make, uh, coffee should be fun, okay, fun making coffee. So you know what, let's focus on the joy of making coffee. The thing is, once you start getting into coffee, if coffee is becoming your hobby, and uh, here's what's going to happen. You start buying stuff, okay, you are going to start buying stuff, uh, which means you're going to buy some tools, you're going to buy some, uh, the stuff you don't need, and then, uh, you realize after maybe a couple of years, you're going to, you are going to start collecting things. So, I'm going to show you uh, my coffee gears. I really enjoy using it, okay? I really enjoy using it and it just brings me joy, okay? It's, you know, I have to say, just bring me joy to use uh, these kind of tools. And then, uh, uh, let's make some coffee. It should be a lot of fun. Anyway, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Uh, this channel is all about making better coffee at home, okay? Just making better coffee, having fun with coffee. And then you're going to see a lot of gadgets in my channel because I do love gadgets. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, I own a, actually, I own a small computer shop in Tucson. So this is one of my tech room a uh, couple of years ago, but I convert this room into my coffee. It's not even studio. It's more like coffee cave. But I do have separate rooms over there for my uh, daily work, fixing computers. But you know what? Uh, let's start making some coffee. Oh, hold on. Before we start, let's talk about coffee I'm going to be using uh, this afternoon. So I'm going to be using my coffee from Hatch. I just got this a couple days ago. This is called Starlight uh, Wash Ethiopia. Great tasting notes, flower, stone fruit, and citrus. So I was curious about what stone fruit, uh, fruit was. Stone fruit is more like anything, to, uh, anything with a fruit that has uh, the pits inside, like peach, uh, apricot, whatever, like maybe like nectarine as well. So anything to do with a stone, you know, it's called stone fruit. So you've got the flower and citrus. So uh, I've been using it for the last few days. I cannot get, okay, I cannot get the stone fruit, uh, kind of like tasting notes, but hopefully we're going to get it today. All right, so uh, let me show you my gadgets I enjoy using and go from here. Okay, here we go. So let me show you what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using a couple tools I really enjoy using. Uh, this is the block party from San Anthony industry here. They're a wedge tool. Uh, force temper. And my coffee. So I already dosed out 18 gram already. We are good to go there. Let's see here. What are we going to use this afternoon? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, so this is the WDT tools, uh, by the way. So this is one from Crema, but uh, you don't need to buy this. You can actually make it at home as well. If you guys are curious, I have a video on that, how to make WDT tools at home. Simply a wine cork and some, uh, this is uh, uh, acupuncture needle, okay? Same as this one. Uh, everybody using the acupuncture needle, so needle. Works pretty good. This is a 3D print. If you have a 3D print, you can actually print out the design from Thingiverse. Shout out to J. Kim. John, so we have a couple of different types here. So again, uh, wine cork to 3D print. Let me, if you have extra money, you can actually buy something fancy tools like this. All right, what else? Ah, this is somewhat, I don't want to say useless, but also it's fun, okay? I mean, it's fun to use. So let's make some coffee. Okay, here we go. So here's what we're going to do. Put the, it's called shot collar right on the top here. 
I think I'm going to be using the, uh, let's use a P64 as grinder this afternoon. Just like that. Now let's get closer. Oops. Again, this, you know, I'm just going, uh, so this is called shock collar from San Anthony. Uh, kind of like direct dosing tool. Just uh, all the coffee beans just go directly go in there. And uh, i show you what I do. So simply, I spin it. And they give you that automatically, you know, nicely distributed. So perfectly distributed. So at this point, uh, you don't even need to do distribution. But again, I'm really enjoying the workflow, you know, the process. I'll do the force tamper. I'm using the, it's called Whipple Design. That's it. Nicely tamp. Uh, they give you like about 20 pounds of pressure on this one. Is you know it's about identical, is identical every single time. They give you that consistent force every single time. At this point, I really enjoy using the puck screen lately. I like to heat up my puck screen first. Just nice and just because you don't want to lose the heat. All right, I'm just gonna. Lock them up. Hopefully I'm back. Okay. As we can see from here, I'm going to go to full force. I'm going to wait about three seconds. Go down about I'm just going to wait a little bit, just lower my pressure there, shut it off, and then slowly introduce the power again. I'm going to go about 60 gram or so, about 35 seconds. Okay. This is kind of like almost turbo shot. Looks pretty good there. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Okay. So. So 60 gram. It's about what, two ounces, just over two ounces there. Because I usually, I, I prefer a one to two ratio, about 40 gram, but I, I think about one and a half times. So, <clears throat> again, tasting note is a flower, stone fruit, and, okay, citrus is a very e easy, okay, they're easy to identify because they're somewhat acidic, uh, bright notes. I don't want to say sour, okay. Here you go. Cheers. Yeah. It gets perfect. It's perfectly balanced. Okay, hold on. Definitely, I can taste the citrus. You know what? I've been spoiled. Okay, I've been spoiled by. <clears throat> Uh, kind of like double fermented geisha type, one of those very exotic flavor. 
Yeah, it's, so this is a wash in Ethiopia. <clears throat> it's not bad, but again, it's not the... Uh, Yeah, it's, it's good, okay? <clears throat> but it's not, it's not spectacular. I mean, that's the whole thing about making coffee. So once you start getting into making coffee, obviously you're gonna start having fun with it. And then you start looking for that, uh, that coffee that you really enjoy. So, so far, uh, my top uh, coffee from even like last year and this year, the one of them is the uh, coffee from Hatch, it's called Light Sea. <clears throat> They're amazing. So the lychee has a lot of great peach flavor. So this one, uh, same uh, roaster. It's called uh, Air Preciso Peach, okay? So this is a double fermented geisha as well. So let me smell this. Definitely fragrance is, you know what, hold on a second. I think I do have, a, uh, Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. What do you know? I, I do have light C. Okay. Okay, so let's open this one up. Okay, so this is good. So this is better. Okay. Air Preciso Light C from Hatch. The tasting note is amazing. Hold on, I'm gonna put my glasses on. So this is a double fermented geisha as well. Goodness, lychee, peach, and hibiscus. Hibiscus, wow. So this, is, uh, this one was roasted on, hold on. Uh, March 28th, okay. So this is about six weeks. Well, hold on, it's March, uh, April. Today is about seven weeks old. So, but think about the lighter roast. I mean, you don't want to wait longer than medium to darker roast. Get the, all the, you know, let's try this shot. Okay, I cannot wait to share that with you guys. So we tried the, the Ethiopia, just a regular wash. So, so this one is just a wash process, okay? So now, I'm going to brew, same thing. Man, comes the grinder setting. I think I'm gonna, I wanna go a little finer, okay? I'm gonna do some good uh, grinder setting. I'm just gonna guess it. That's the great thing about the, using the uh, kind of like flow control machine. You, can, uh, you, you could save any kind of coffee. So I'm just gonna go lower here. Uh, more like, uh, let's say about six clicks on P64, okay. The reason why I like to use the puck screen, that's a, the dry puck, okay. And also a clean, you're going to have a clean shower screen as well. That's the only reason. It's not going to make any, you know, sh uh, coffee taste good or bad. I mean, I just like the flow of it. All right, let's do one more time, guys. I'm just gonna measure out. 18 gram. All right, here we go. By the way, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. So today is, we're just gonna have some fun making some coffee here, okay? It's called Joy of Baking Coffee. All right, uh, let's put 18 grand. So this is the, the lights, one of my favorite coffee. One of my favorite coffee in the world, actually. <clears throat> I'm gonna do 18 gram here. 18.1. Uh, this time, you know what, uh, let's use the dosing cup this time, okay? Let's use the dosing cup. There we go. Hope you guys can see it. There, there.
All right, here we go. <clears throat> Man, this smells amazing right now. <clears throat> this smells amazing at the moment. Okay, and then uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using uh, puck paper as well. It's called portal paper. Okay, you can make one. If you don't want to make one, you can actually buy it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to wet this. Okay, I'm just going to wet this. Wet the puck paper here first. <clears throat> so this is also another workflow. So you can uh, always do the direct dosing, but sometimes if you don't do direct dose, use the dosing cup. At this point, I'm going to be doing some WD thing here. Do some WD thing. Again, I mean, you know, I really enjoy the, this routine. It's, it's, sometimes it's completely unnecessary to doing this. But surely it is fun. Surely it is a lot of fun. I'm just going to make sure everything is nicely level. So this is a three prong <clears throat> WDT tool. So this one is the, uh, it's called puck rake. Okay, flat. You can actually doing kind of like Zen garden type. You can actually rake it. Make sure nicely, uh, nicely manicure, just like your garden. Look at that. Yeah. Looks amazing. At this point, I'm just going to do a quick distribution here. You see the color here, guys? Very light. Just use my force temper one more time. All right, I'm going to take you guys to <clears throat> There we go. You're going to do another kind of like a uh, longer shot. Okay, I'm just going to heat up my puck screen again one more time. Clean at the same time. I'm going to be doing more like 1 to more like 1 to 3 ratio uh 1 to 3 ratio maybe. I'm going to do uh, 18 gram in, almost 60 gram out. Yeah. Let's lock it in. Okay. Let's just do that one more time. I'm going to go one. Two, three. I'm just gonna close it, and then I'm just gonna let it rip. Okay. There we go. Very fast. <clears throat> Should for about sixty gram. There we go. Sixty gram. Okay. Oh, again, so that one, uh, again, the tasting note is the lightsy and peach and the incredible, that smells incredible, okay. Wow. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to stir it. So this is about seven weeks old. Seven weeks old. Cheers, guys. Definitely, I can taste the peach. Lightsy, <clears throat> for sure. Man. It's a whole lot better than the first one. So this is the Wash Ethiopia. This is a double fermented geisha. Hold on. 
Okay, you know what? I have to say, so this is the, uh, so, so this lighter is one of my favorite coffee. So I, I had this last year. I'm gonna big shout out to Hans, sent me this last year for the, my bracket challenge. This coffee was the winner of 2021, the bracket challenge. But some reason, the last year uh, harvest was a lot better than this one. Uh, Justin, if you are watching, this is not as good. It's good, but it's not as good as last year. Okay. Man, maybe, you know what, uh, I think we're going to do some, uh, br uh, try with a different brew method as well. But yeah, it's good, but it's not as good. Hold on. Let's see here. We got some uh, live chat going on here right now. We got uh, Dylan, Dylan is on, Raul, Ar uh, Arvini, Arvini, I hope I'm saying it right. We got Buta, SV, Miguel, Jonathan, hold on. Lion Pride, Santiago's on as well. We got the MG somebody, okay. Hold on, E S E pause. So, you know, Euro viewers, no. not why not talk about what is a E S E pause? I don't know what that is. Avani, okay, Avani. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, E S E pause. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, yeah, let me know. Is there some kind of uh, brewing device? Your Euro viewer, ES, ESE pods. You know, let's find out what that is, okay? I'm curious. Hold on, I'm, I'm just gonna, I got my, I got my computer set up right here, so I can look it up. Oh, the ESE pod espresso machine. They're like, uh, hold on, here we go. Some kind of pod, yeah, it's some kind of pod. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, I, 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 we're trying to do fresh roasted coffee, but yeah. I need to look into it more. Let's say rain, uh, just got a, well, we just used our new port filter screen for the first time. Okay, the shot ran long, have find. You know what, some reason, the, the, uh, <clears throat> the, let's say the filter screen, the shower screen, the reason why I, first time I purchased that, uh, purchased the shower screen because I was hoping to slow down the shot, but I realized it wasn't the case, okay? I mean, that, I mean that's just give you the, you know, <clears throat> uh, dry puck, that's it. I mean, watch this. The shower screen, it's not, it's not gonna uh, slow down the flow. I mean, this, this is the only reason I, I like to use it because having a clean, dry puck, that's about it. And also give you a clean shower screen as well. So let's see here, what else? Uh, Avani say, uh, Please share your thoughts on Hatch Supernova Cup. You know what? I have not tried the Supernova. So I tried their Hatch, uh, I'm sorry, the Lightsey, uh, Luna. I tried the Luna. Uh, I've been trying, uh, we, we just tried the Starlights earlier today. I mean, just well, a few minutes ago. Uh, uh, Lightsey here. And also I have, this is a uh, uh, Lawanda as well. Uh, Syria, Syria, uh, Syria, uh, CWS. Okay, another great tasting note. So, also this is the Washi Ethiopia as well. So, so I'm, I'm gonna be trying it. Okay, I'm gonna be trying it. Super, I think I have great things about Supernova though. Okay, so Drunk Vigo. You are, you are a master at pulling shots. I'm not a bad master, okay. Again, the having a flow control make you look like professional because you can save your shot. I mean, you cannot, you cannot pull the bad shot with a uh, full of control. Okay, hold on. Notes of dark chocolate. Okay. <clears throat> what else? Uh, Gorgioni. 
Hold on. It's a Huan E force tamper. Okay. Uh, uh, Jonor Santiago asks, force tamper or Bravo tamper? Uh, comes to, okay, here's the thing. I mean, they're both great tempers. Uh, <clears throat> so with the Bravo temper, beautifully made, but it's not give you feedback, okay, the, the tactile feedback. They're both great, but with the force temper, they give you that, for, uh, if you ask me which one is more uh, fun to use, I'm talking about fun, guys. Force temper is a lot more fun to use. Which one is better is about the same. Okay, it's not about being better. It's about, you know, it's about which one give you more, you know, more enjoyable, let's put it that way. I mean, that's both great tempers. The fact is, they're both pretty expensive. All right, that's pretty expensive temper. So, again, but it doesn't matter which temper, as long as bring you a little joy, making a coffee in the morning, you know what, why not, right? Why not? So again, so which one is not about better? Uh, I personally, I like the first temper to play with because I love the, 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 the tactile feedback. I love the noise. I love the sound of it. But again, the Bravo temper does an amazing job. I mean, they're both great. I mean, at that point, okay? I know there's a lot of tools out there. I mean, you know what, a drunk Vigo is, I mean, is correct. It's about kind of like workflow and kind of a like ritual. You know, it's similar because I've been telling you guys for the, over the years, you don't need this. Okay, you don't need this at all. O only thing I re recommend, if you guys are a good coffee, get this. Okay, wine coke with some couple, about three, four acupuncture needle. That's all you need. And the most coffee machine comes with the temper anyway. If we happen to buy Lilith Bianca, uh, what's that called? They give you a temper, okay? They give you a temper. That's it. So this is pretty much all you need. And it comes the grinder. Uh, you don't need fancy grinder to make great coffee. As long as you just you know just get the you know decent burr grinder. Uh, let's see, my favorite is like, you know, DF64 niche grinder should be great. Let's see, what else? You know, again, I mean, it's all, all about, you know, how far you want to take your hobby, right? If you want to take your hobby to next level, I mean, there's no limit, okay? There's no limit to it. Because, I mean, even though it looks like I have a lot of uh, nice setup here, I mean, this is kind of like tip of the iceberg. I mean, there is a coffee machine. I was looking at, uh, goodness, earlier this morning, a uh, company uh, made by, goodness, I, I forgot the name already. Hold on. Uh, let me find that for you. Okay, hold on a second, guys. This is a really cool machine. Hold on a second. If, just bear with me for a second. Okay, where is that coffee machine I was looked at this morning earlier? Hold on a second here. You have to see, this is a sweet, here we go. San Remo, okay, San Remo U. So this is the, here, let me show you. Let me show you this coffee machine. This is pretty cool. Hold on, let me flip the camera back. So this is a San Remo U. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna... Hopefully you guys can hear it. Okay, you see that? Okay, think of it as a dual boiler coffee machine with a decent uh, uh, interface. The decent is a... Uh... 
coffee machine. You can actually customize your profile. You can do the pre-infusion. What did I miss there? I think I, I felt like, here we go. You can do pre-infusion, post-infusion. This is a one beautiful coffee machine. I mean, like I say, I mean, comes to buying a coffee machine is all subjective. Okay. And I know Lila Bianca, you know, some people, I mean, this is a lot of money. But if you start getting into uh, coffee and coffee machines, I mean, there's a lot of new machine coming out. I believe those machine is, I think, upwards of over 10 grand, okay, the $10,000. Coming from, uh, because my coffee machine was, my first one was, it's called uh, Mr. Coffee. Okay, Mr. Coffee cost me, what, 50 bucks. And the Mr. Coffee to obviously like, you know, Bra uh, Bravo Barista Express, that's huge jump, okay, huge jump. Amazing. But now we have a Barista Express. We're gonna move up to, let's say, Rocket Apartmento. That's a big jump as well. And not only that, we are going to go jump out to, let's say, Lille Bianca with the flow control. And so now we have the motion like uh, San Remo, okay? San Remo U, that's upwards of 10 grand. And uh, if you're looking at the La Merzacco, $15,000. So it's, again, it's all about uh, how far you wanna push your hobby. Uh, comes to tools, goodness. I mean, just you, you can get a regular temper from Amazon for 10, 15 bucks, okay? Just a regular temper. And then you could spend uh, Pullman Big Step, you're looking at $170, just a temp. Just temp the coffee. Just like tools as well. So it all, all depends on how much you want to push your hobbies to. So again, I mean, I've been telling, you know, I've been talking to you guys over the years. It's not about the equipment. You know, it's the operator. As long as you know what you're doing, you are going to make great coffee with uh, Bravo Brewster Express or any other coffee machine. So, but you know what? I want you to guys have some fun, okay? I want you to guys have some fun because, you know, having fun is important. Sometimes we overdo it, you know. We always look for the uh, great, uh, latest and greatest uh, gadgets. If you guys are into that, you are in the right place, okay? I mean, I mean, I love, you know, gadgets and tools. Even though it's not, even though somewhat useless, but you know, it is definitely fun to use. Hold on, let's take a look at some live comments. At the SV Ahmed. Let's see here. I think SV knows my cousin, okay? Yeah, I think SV knows my cousin. Hold on. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to see some cool setup, uh, uh, Dylan's home uh, express bar right now, he's on the live chat. Dylan has a sweet setup though. Okay, Dylan has a sweet setup. You think, you think I have a lot of stuff? Dylan has a lot of stuff, so. All right, hold on. Let's see, here we got a shout out to Sean. Oh, we have a Lion's Pride, uh, My Mr. Coffee Espresso. Last month, okay. Give me. Uh, I'll get the Bravo, okay. I, I I know it is a little pricey uh, compared to uh, Hamilton Beach or Mr. Coffee, but I um, mean, if you're looking for you know decent espresso, I mean that is a pretty good place to start there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, the water do you use? Use that. Okay, hold on. So MG ask. Uh, coffee, uh, co the water. Okay, so I've been using uh, Crystal Geyser water. Uh, uh, usually on sale on my uh, local grocery store for like one dollar. So I've been using that. Uh, but again, the key is you need to get a good water. Okay, <clears throat> you need to get a good water because without the good water, uh, <clears throat> you might want to damage your coffee machine. So just make sure use the good water. Check your TDS. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. 
What else? I think we are pretty... Man, we got 41 people watching, guys. Just make sure to join the live chat as well. And then, uh, don't forget, okay, we do have a, a free membership at Discord channel. So Discord, we, we have a Discord channel. So <clears throat> just feel free to join us. I'm going to put the link down below. Uh, that's a, a lot of fun. Okay, if you guys, like, uh, if you guys are into gadgets, uh, recipes, yeah, I mean, that is a good place to come hang out. We do a lot of live streaming there as well. I mean, we do a lot of live streaming on Discord. So we definitely have some fun. We have uh, uh, Omnio. Yep, uh, D uh, Dylan has. Yeah, Dylan has a Discord channel. D wait, wait. Dylan has a YouTube channel, not the Discord. <clears throat> what else? Uh, we have a, a sifting with a sleeve. Okay, we have sifter question. Uh, goodness, I do have sifter here, but again, that's another layer of, you know, I mean, making your coffee as well. I mean, if you have a free time, okay, I mean, goodness, if you have time to sift your coffee, do it, okay? And then, you know, just kind of like compare before sifting versus after. I mean, it, I mean, it is a lot of fun, okay? It is a lot of fun to kind of like, you know, dip, uh, develop your workflow. Yeah, I mean, hold on, let's try this coffee one more time here because it's been cooled down for last, what, 10 minutes or so? I can definitely taste the lychee, just it's very, very strong. <clears throat> because coffee taste uh, changes when you're hot and start, starting to cooling down, uh, bring out more uh, uh, tasting notes, you know, flavors, I guess, the note there. <clears throat> we got the jo uh, Jonel Santiago, who and have you tried Vol Volcanica coffee roaster? No, I have not tried it yet, okay? By the way, try, okay? Try local roasters or uh, specialty coffee. If you have not tried Ethiopia, because mo uh, most people are kind of accustomed to like Italian style espresso, but <clears throat> uh, once you start, by the way, there's no such thing as espresso coffee beans. You can make espresso with any kind of coffee. So if someone says, hey, you have a, do you have espresso blend? There's no such thing, okay? So you can, um, you can use any coffee as an espresso. So uh, try with Ethiopia, okay? That's kind of like a good place to start. Uh, going, into, you know, if you are looking at coffee as your hobby, most likely you're gonna hate it, you're gonna love it. There's no between with Ethiopia coffee beans because they're such too far off from a regular like South America coffee. They have very dark uh, chocolatey notes, very earthy. And then if you go to Ethiopia, they are bright and completely different. So if you haven't tried uh, Ethiopia, make sure, uh, definitely try some. Okay, try your coffee there. Okay, so Av Avini say, how do you join the Discord? Uh, I'm gonna put the link down below when I'm done with it. Okay, and then just feel free to join us. And I do have a lot of videos on my channel. I, I do have a couple of uh, uh, sifting videos. Anyway, I th think we are pretty good this afternoon. Okay, it's a lot of fun. Uh, again, coffee is a uh, coffee is all about having fun. So just make sure, just, just just make sure have some fun with it. Just make sure have some fun. You don't have to have a fancy equipment or fancy tools to make great coffee. So just make sure remember that as well. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great afternoon, and then I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.